Hello students, welcome to Sameda e-learning program, subject social science, class 10th. Today I am going to discuss about the problems of India and their solution part 2. This is the first unit of political science. In previous class, you learnt about the major topic of this lesson that is unemployment, what is the meaning of unemployment and what are the problems of unemployment. What are the measures are taken by the government to provide employment opportunity to the people? Student, I hope you understood the meaning and reason and what are the measures are taken by the government to avoiding the unemployment problems. And next topic that is corruption. In previous class, you learned what is the meaning of corruption, how it creates negativity in society and what are the measures are taken by the government to eradication of the corruptions. And uh, next topic that is discrimination. The discrimination, the types of the discrimination and what are the measures are taken by the government to avoiding the discriminations in society. In this unit, you will learn about the next important problems of India that is communalism, status of women, terrorism and corporate strategy. Let us see one by one the problems of India and their solution. First, I want to discuss about the communalism. What is communalism? Segregation in the name of religious and creating hatred can be called communalism. It means the dividing of the peoples in the name of the religious. This segregation in the name of religions means the dividing the peoples in the name of the different religion, Hindu, Muslim, Christian, this type of the segregating of the society, it create the hater sections in the society. It is known as communalism. What are the impact of the communalism? The communalism, it is good for the society? No children, it is creating a negative impact in the society, which leads to political competition and social groupism. The peoples are creating their own group against of other religious. It creating the violence in the society. It has capacity to endanger the integrity and unity of India. So, the main problems of the communalism, it broke the unity of India. That is the major problems of the communalism. And it creating the selfishness. It gives the more importance of the self-interest ahead of national interest. The main impact of the communalism, it broke the unity and it creating the selfishness in society. These are the major problems of the communalism. And people attempt to the preach their own religion and also tend to be suspicious of other religions. It means intolerance of the other religious. They are preaching their own religious. Any religious, the peoples are believed, they are preaching their own religious, they propagated their own religious and they are creating some own group for the followers of their own religious. It is also the main problems, it dividing the nation in the name of the different religious. This affected the unity of the nation. These are the major problems of the communalism. How to avoid this communalism? What are the precautionary methods? to avoiding the communalism. Central and state government are taken many more precautionary methods to avoiding the communalism. The first of all, the ideas like uniform civil code, equality among all citizens, developing healthy national thought, it reducing the communalism in society. It means in Indian constitutions also providing for the civil code, uniform civil code. The uniforming civil code providing the equal justice for people of India. So, it reducing the communalism in society and equality among all the citizens. Fundamental rights, it is given by our constitution, all are equal. Right to equality, it, it is given the good opportunity to the peoples in equality in the society. All the religious are equal in society, it avoiding the communalism in society and developing healthy national thoughts, unity, integrity, it avoiding the communalism in society. So, these are the some precautionary measures taken by the government to avoiding the communalism. Next, 
the supporting secular value in the society. It is the most important. Indian constitutions are explaining the secular value. What is the meaning of secular value? The secular means the India is not given any particular regions. It, India is not considered the any particular religion. Each and every religions get equal opportunity in society. The peoples are practice or believe their own religious, no any restriction. And the center of the religious also not interference by the government. So, supporting secular value in the society, it avoiding the communalism in society. Student, you learned that is the secular value or secular country. India is a secular country, you learned in 9th standard also. The precautionary method, the transcending narrow thoughts in favor of national interest. It is also avoiding the communalism and it increasing the unity and integrity of the nation. The communalism avoiding and integrity and unity, it will be a increasing in society, it avoiding the communalism. These are the some measures are taken by the government to avoiding the communalism in society. The next problems that is status of women. Students see this picture. Are you remember women's freedom fighters of India? How they sacrifice their life for freedom struggle? The achievement of women during pre-independence are notable. The most important freedom fighters of India, Jansi Rani Lakshmi Bhai, Kittur Rani Chennamma, Annie Besant, Savitri Bhai Pule, Sarojini Naidu. There are some memorable women freedom fighters, they sacrifice their life for freedom. What are the status of women for modern India? In modern India, the women are participating in different, different fields. They are became a doctors, uh, engineers, teachers, pilot, astronaut and they are also participating in defense. The military force also they were participating. So, in modern world, the women are participating in all the field. Still, the status of women need a lot of improvement. Why? What is this? What is the problems of their status of women has remained low because due to the social customs, poverty and illiteracy. Most of the women are not getting a good education. So, it is the main reason in modern day also the women's condition is not good in society. The status of the women are not good in the society. So, the status of women it is also considered one of the problems of Indian society. In this problems some women are performed various role in society of India. They became an ambassador, they identified a different uh, field and they became a governor, ministers, chief minister and many others have influenced in position and have performed well in society. The success of these women has been inspired for many women. These are the problems of India, what uh, the situation of the society, the women are not getting a good opportunity in society. So, government is taken some measures to improve the status of women. The first of all, government has started women and child development department. This department is work to improve the status of women, to give the good education to the women and to protect against for the exploitations in the society. So, the government implemented this department, it is very helpful to improve the status of women. And government also implemented many programs curb child marriage. Child marriage is a one of social evils in society. Government are avoiding this type of the social evils in society. The act will be implemented against of the child marriage. The Prohibition Act was implemented by the government in 2006. According to 2006 Act, this child marriage is prohibited. Protect the girl's child for marriage, avoiding the uh, exploitations of the girl child in society. The next important measures, the government has passed Dowry Prohibition Act. In 1961, Dowry Prohibition Act was implemented by the government to any persons they are participating in the dowry, they are punished by the government. So, this government implemented the Dowry Act, it should be protect the girls 
exploitation in society and improve the status of this women in society. And next one is compulsory education has been implemented. Government implemented compulsory education, it providing the education to the girls, automatically the status of the girls are improved in society. The compulsory education is also one of the important measures taken by the government to improve the status of women. In Karnataka government has implemented Sri Shakti program. In rural area, the women are creating their own group that is Sri Shakti. It creating the awareness to the peoples and uh, it creating the good economical system and they started their own business self help group and uh, they helping with each other. So, it is also the one of the important programs to uh, women are getting a good opportunity in society and it reducing the discriminations in the society. They are identification in the different field and uh, uh, it reducing the discriminations and improve the status of women. Next self help group, before only I explain that self help group they started their own business like making of baskets and uh, uh, different type of the household goods they were producing and they marketing, they earning money and they are not depending for the men. So, this type of the self help group, it identifications of the women and they also improve the status in society. And the most important that is the women commission was established by government. It solved the problems of women like exploitations, especially domestic violence, and some other problems getting solution through this commissions. The women's commission have established to address various problems of women and avoiding the exploitations and improve the status of women. Today in modern world, the women are participating in administrative. Karnataka government also reserve the seat in legislative body. The women are taken one third of the seat, it should be reservation for the women it avoiding the discriminations and providing the good opportunity to take administrative power in society. It improve the status of women. The reservations is also providing in government recruitment. It is also increase the uh, status of women in society and avoiding the discriminations and improve the status of women. These are the important measures taken by the government to improve the status of women and avoiding the problems of our country. The next important challenge of our country that is terrorism. The terrorism it is not only the problems of India, it is the world problem. What is meant by terrorism? It is also known as extremism. This is the method of putting pressure on government it is based on political ideologies and religious faith. Terrorism based on political ideologies, religious faith and ideological beliefs, it creating lot loss for individual as well as communities. The terrorism, it create the panic. Student, you see this picture, how that terrorism, it creating panic and fear in society. It targeting the most important areas, it is more populated, targeting civilian military bases or a special language, religion, caste or race. They are using their own weapons for the creating violence in society. They use deadly explosive gases to complete their selfish purpose. The different type of the executing method they are using in creating the violence in society. They targeted civilian military bases in the particular religious, race, skin color, etc. This terrorist is based on the extreme religious sentiment. The people sir, believe their own religious and creating the panic in society. It creating the separatism in society, it also creating the racialism and also leftist ideas in society. They employed modern day gadgets. The terrorists are employees modern day gadgets and means of transportation. A dead target on airport, railway stations, market, etc. They also use tactics like suicide bombing and kidnapping. The terrorists are using different methods to create violence in society. Which are the places 
they are more targeting in India, especially in India, like Nagaland, Manipur, Kashmir and Punjab, uh, this uh, state are targeting more by terrorists. In recently, the attack on Taj Hotel in Mumbai in November 26, in 2007, attack of the terrorist in India. The attacking of parliament in Hyderabad, Chennai, Bengaluru, it is in the recently, it is the attacking place of terrorist in India. How to avoiding the terrorism? It is only by the government to avoiding this terrorism? No. The citizen of India, they can understand the problems of terrorist and terrorism activities and they can get some solution against these problems. India has always criticized terrorism in other countries. Our central and state government is taken uh, to avoiding the terrorism and stop the terrorism in India. The government taken to most care in stop terrorism in India. It always tried to protect property and their life of ordinary people. The Indian government are introducing many special allied force to tackle this terrorism or terrorist. India has been peace loving country. It has undertaken many initiatives to stop terrorism. The different type of the commandos are introduced by government to stop terrorism in India. The first of all Marcos, Para Commandos, Ghatak Force, Cobra and Force 1. These are the different uh, defense forces introduced by the government to avoiding the terrorist activities in India. And special force also introduced by the government to stop terrorism. First of all, special frontier is force, it uh, avoiding the attack in the border of country. And national security guard, it is also one of the uh, defense force to avoiding the terrorism in India. And guard commando force and special uh, protection group also introduced by the government to avoiding the terrorism in India. India are avoiding the terrorist activities in different part of our country. But only the introducing by the government uh, measures, it can't avoiding the activities of the terrorism. You cannot stop the uh, terrorism activities in our country. India is peace loving country and peace and love are a greater than the violence which can stop the terrorism. The next topic that is corporate strategy. Student, what is the meaning of corporate strategy? How it creating problems in India? A group of administrative measures undertaken by company to achieve pre-mediated target is called corporate strategy. It means the most important companies, they are introducing their own ideas, planning to give employment opportunity in society. The main intention of that companies are taking more profit. So, that is called the corporate strategy. The multinational companies are started. This corporate strategy is the most challenging problems in 20th century. The present day, the corporate strategies are using globalized environment and technology. They are using the different type of the ideas to get some profit by the peoples. They providing the employment opportunity, but in, re in return they get more profit by the peoples. It is also creating some negativity in society. They are planning the good corporate strategies, they are planning for the resources and organizations and creating their own business and getting the more profit. They know how to advertise their companies and how to get uh, more demand in that uh, product and how to coordinating for the business and how to controlling method of that business. Each and everything they should be a status or they should be a planning. So, the good corporate strategies are it uh, creating the negativity in the society in uh, return they are getting more profit. The main aim of this corporate strategy is maximizing the profit of the company. The main intention of that corporate strategy, they getting more profit by peoples. It is affected the society 
negatively. How? Because in economically that uh, all the wealth it only for concentrating in the big companies. They are getting more profit, but people are exploiting by the companies. So, the main aim of this corporate strategy to get more money or to get more profit in business. In return, the society or people are getting negative impact of the corporate strategy. The government are also influence the strategies of companies. The corporate strategy it also influence the government. The government also providing the opportunity to start their own business in India because government also give the opportunity to introducing the new companies, the main intention to providing the employment opportunity. But the corporate strategies are getting more profit, it is also influence the economy and it is also reduce the national income and it is also burden of the government. So, corporate strategy also influence the decision of government. On opposite side, the companies are employed to allow it the social problems like poverty, health and skill training and malnutrition. Companies are introducing a new strategies or planning to get some beliefs of the peoples or do peoples are identify the work, social work of the corporate strategy. So, govern, uh, corporate strategies are introducing some social welfare programs. Example for the allocation of the uh, poverty and uh, providing some health facilities to the peoples and to providing for some orientation programs or skill based training should be providing to the peoples and it avoiding the malnutrition and providing some nutrition food for the peoples. So, they are showing some uh, social welfare programs in externally it creating the awareness of the importance of the companies, but in result they are exploiting or they are getting more profit by people. So, corporate strategy also consider one of problems of Indian society. All these executive programs are undertaken by the corporate social responsibility programs. The corporate companies are taking these all the programs through this corporate social responsibility program. They are showing their responsibility in the society. They are taking many more measures to improve this society in India, but uh, in the main intention of that corporate strategy only getting more profit. How to avoiding this corporate strategy? The government needed to mandate such initiative through appropriate legal measures. The government should introduce some legal measures to avoiding the activities of the corporate strategy or to avoiding the more beneficials of the corporate strategy. It is only the most important remedies of the problems of corporate strategy. Student, I hope you understood the meaning of corporate strategy and how it creates the negativity and how the companies are getting more profit through their uh, programs. Only uh, with such initiatives, the Indian society can channelize the corporate strategy in favor of the society. So, this corporate strategy is also one of the major problems of India and government also taken uh, many measures to avoiding the strategies of companies and avoiding the problems of India. Student, it is the time of recapitulation. I hope you understood the topic, the what are the problems of India, what are the measures are taken by the government to avoiding these problems. In this class, uh, we learnt about the uh, first major problems of India that is communalism, what are the effect of the communalism and how to avoid the communalism and which are the measures are taken by the government to avoiding the communalism and creating the uh, integrity and unity of the nation. The next topic we discuss in this unit that is status of women. What is the uh, status of women in Indian society and uh, what are the measures are taken by the government to improve the status of women. And uh, next we learnt that is terrorism. What is the meaning of terrorism? What are the negative impact of the terrorism and which are the measures are taken by the government to uh, control the terrorist activities in India. And uh, next it is last one 
we discuss about the what is the meaning of corporate strategy and uh, how that corporate strategies are creating negativity in the society, how they are planning and exploiting the peoples and how the channelizing the corporate strategies in the favor of the society. So, in this topic we discuss in this class and dear student I hope you understood this topic the meaning of communalism, terrorism and corporate strategy. In this unit you learnt the topic communalism, meaning of communalism and terrorism and corporate strategy. In this chapter we start for some recapitulation. Students are you ready for the recapitulation? Yes. The first question is what is communalism? Yes, your answer is correct. Intolerance of people towards other religion is called communalism. Second question, which program is implemented by the government of Karnataka for the development of rural women? Yes, your answer is correct. Stri Shakti program. This program is implemented by the government to improve the status of women in rural areas. Yes. Next question, what is terrorism? Terrorism is fulfilling its narrow and by creating panic and violence. It is known as terrorism. Fourth question, which is the 21st century's biggest challenge in front of the government? Yes. Your answer is correct children. Corporate strategy is the biggest challenge in the 21st centuries in print of the government. Next question, what is corporate strategy? Yes, your answer is correct. A group administrative measure undertaken by a company to achieve a premediated target. It means it is a premediated target of the companies that is known as corporate strategy. What is the main intention? To get more profit. So, these are the corporate strategies. I hope you understood children. Yes. At now, I want to discuss about the multiple choice question for this lesson. Student, are you ready for this question? MCQ questions. First question is the segregation in the name of religion is known as dash secularism b terrorism c regionalism and d communalism children find out which is the correct answer for this question yes correct answer communalism next mcq question anti dowry act was passed in the year dash a 1961, B 1978, 1985, D 1976, which is the correct answer to student? Yes, your answer is correct 1961. Shall I move next question? The worst challenge faced by India today is dash. A options communalism, B options regionalism, C terrorism, D illiteracy. Student, are you able to find out this answer? Yes, very good. Your answer is correct. Terrorism. Next questions. Communalism is opposed to the principle of dash. A options, communalism, secularism, democracy and socialism. Yes. Find out children which is the correct answer? Yes, your answer is correct. B options, secularism. Student, write down these two questions. This is the home assignment. The first question is, what are the effect of terrorism? Second question, what are the suggestions to improve the status of women? Thank you children. I am Lakshmi M. Naik, assistant teacher, Triveni Memorial Primary and High School, Hesargatta Main Road, Bangalore.